Today, we're diving into the immunology behind type 1 diabetes, how the immune system can make mistakes, and where monoclonal antibodies fit into the picture. You see, type 1 diabetes is what happens when your immune system confuses your insulin-producing beta cells for an enemy. This is crystal clear autoimmune disease. Or is this autoimmune disease at its worst? These T cells use a receptor called CD3, which participates in their activation. Once activated, they destroy the beta cells. Without beta cells, less insulin production, blood sugar skyrockets, and if left untreated, you're at higher risk of diabetic ketoacidosis, or DKA, along with many other clinical complications of diabetes. Trust me, I've seen DKA patients in the ICU, and it's no joke. And I've often questioned, is there a way to diagnose patients with type 1 diabetes earlier? But here's where immunology gets cool. Scientists developed monoclonal antibodies like T-Zield that target and bind to the CD3 protein on the surface of T cells that mistakenly attack beta cells. T zealed binds to these T cells, rendering them less able to exert their full destructive effects on beta cells. It thereby gives beta cells a fighting chance. T zealed is a CD3 directed monoclonal antibody indicated to delay the onset of stage 3 type 1 diabetes in adults and pediatric patients aged 8 years and up with stage 2 type 1 diabetes. Now, this is not a solution. But delaying type 1 diabetes progression from stage 2 to stage 3 could mean your body's remaining functional beta cells are able to continue to produce enough insulin for a longer period of time. It's all about early detection and being proactive. But how do we detect type 1 diabetes early before stage 3? We should look at family history of type 1 diabetes and screen for type 1 diabetes-related autoantibodies. We need at least two of those to be positive to confirm risk of type 1 diabetes because science has advanced to where we have an option like T-Zield for patients 8 years and older whose follow-up blood work confirms they are in stage 2 type 1 diabetes. As with any treatment, it's important to understand the potential side effects with T-Zield. Serious adverse events include cytokine release syndrome, serious infections, lymphopenia, and hypersensitivity reactions. Please see important safety information below. Thanks for hanging out with me today. Remember, immunology is your superpower as a healthcare provider. Use it wisely. Like, subscribe, and share if you want more deep dives on how science can be a catalyst for patients. I've been engaged by Sanofi to highlight the importance of taking action to screen for type 1 diabetes, what we can do to support patients who may be at risk, and when to advocate for them. Check out tzealedhcp.com for more info. Link in bio.